Welcome back. It seems like a medical marvel is in store. A doctor from Tamil Nadu claims to have found a cure for HIV positive patients. Our correspondent Salim gets into a conversation with Dr. Prakash who developed the HIV cure therapy from Siddha system using modern scientific tools. The doctor has now been invited by the International Anti-AIDS Society to participate in a conference in Washington stressing the same. Let's listen in. Dr. Prakash is here. He has been invited by the International AIDS Society. He will be participating in a conference in Washington DC. Sir, uh, are you coming to say that uh, you have uh, cured HIV infected patients? Yes, I have cured f f 5 patients. The first case was in 2006 in one female and followed that 4 cases I have been cured. With with HIV cure therapy, this therapy I developed from the Siddha system using the modern scientific tools. You will be giving a presentation in Washington DC. Yes. So far there is no medicine to cure HIV. Uh, you mean to say that your medicine works and kills the particular HIV virus? Yes, my medicine, it kills the HIV virus, it stimulates the host immunity and this is the synergistic action, synergistic action in the sense, combination of actions, killing the virus, developing the hum, uh, body immunity and uh, as well as developing the natural killer cells in the body. Indian government have uh, so far not recognized your work. Why is that? Yeah, I have been repeatedly asking the Indian government uh, to recognize it and to give the permission and approval and all the regulatory uh, procedures. Uh, they did not reject it is under consideration but it is slow process i would appreciate if they uh, do it in quick i can move further indian american astronaut sunita williams along with two other cosmonauts today successfully docked their soy spacecraft with the international space station for a four month long stay during which they will conduct over 30 scientific missions this is the second space mission for williams who holds the longest record for the space flight of 195 days for a woman Okay. Thanks, Mike. It's, uh, it's great to be up here. It's great to see Joe, Gennady, and Sergey. They open, uh, welcomed us with open arms and uh, we're ready to work as a six-person crew. The team under MS Dhoni had a break of over a month to prepare for the upcoming season. Now Dhoni is all pumped up ahead of the matches, saying that their cricket season has just begun and they're having it looking a good start. We'll be ready for it because uh, we are not the persons who decide, but you know, uh, now that the series are out, you know, we are supposed to be prepared for it because you know our country's name is at stake. So you know, as as a cricketer, as a professional cricketer, that's what we are supposed to do. You know, go on the field and you know try to win every game, uh, especially if it's against Pakistan. You know, it's a bit tough. Well, if you see, you know, Sri Lanka, it's uh, not a very new place to us. You know, if you see in the last five years, you know, uh, most of the times we have gone almost every year, uh, if not. Uh, you know, maybe twice a year also. So I don't think the condition is very different. And also the fact that, you know, uh, if you compare it to India, it's, it's not very different to India, you know. Almost uh, certain things change, but, you know, moreover the pattern of cricket that gets played and, you know, everything remains the same. And if you see the good aspect, you know, most of the players who are part of the side or who will be part of the T20 side also, and they've played lots of cricket matches in Sri Lanka. So I don't think, you know, getting used to the condition will be a big problem. For and that is a wrap on this bulletin. Stay tuned to NDT Hindu for more news and updates.